G'day, I'm Bruce Southwood, and when I'm not managing the local Outback Steakhouse, I like to pop open a Foster's and listen to prank calls by the phone losers of America. Hello? Hey, James? Yes? It's Bob, your neighbor. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Um, I'm going to be getting that internet, you know, that Starlink satellite internet. Um, they're going to be... No. Well, yeah, it's it's a new internet service from SpaceX. They're... They're going to be putting it on your roof, though? Yeah, no. I, that, no. I don't have you, a roof. Okay, then. You, you've got the wrong person, because that's not where I live. Well, no, I live at 130... I didn't even tell you where you live. I live uh, yeah, one, you're, that fr- you're that fucked up freak that keeps calling people and, and harassing them. I'm not harassing anyone. I'm, it's the first time yes, I've called you. Yes, you are. You're, you're talking stupid shit. I only called you once. I just called you... Th- and, and how- you've done it before. We all know who you are, dumbass. Come what, on. What do you mean I've done it before? We've gotten these phone calls from you before. Last time it was oh the Amazon tunnels underneath the underneath the house. Amazon tunnels. Come on. That sounds crazy. Yeah. First of all, my neighbor's name is not Bob. And second of you all, don't know the who your neighbor you is. Gave, you don't live at. You, you don't know who your neighbor is. I'm Bob Dobbleen. I, I live, know who my neighbor is. I live directly I below your my- house. Ah, you see, that, that's where you're fucking full of shit, because I live in a rancher. You live in a renter? I live in a rancher house. Yes, I do. I do. So you don't live below me at all. Well, I, I live on drive. You don't live on drive? I know where drive is, and you don't live at that address. Se- settle because down. Because Cal- calm lives. down. Calm down. Settle down. You're, you're, no, you're, you're freaking out. you this before, dude. You did it to my... Thank you. You did it to my mom once before, and I got on the phone. I remember, because, you know, I asked you to come outside and said... You know, you got all pissed off because I was getting hyper and everything because I know you're a fucking psycho. Are you sure this wasn't King Richard? This sounds like something King Richard would do. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. That's how a fucking psychotic you are. What are you talking about? Like, seriously, I don't even know how you got my number, but here's the thing. I, I have friends that are in the fucking FBI, and I will have them fucking contact you. And you will fucking get in so much trouble for harassing people, man. How am I harassing anybody? Kidding. Yes, you are. You're fucking calling me, telling me something stupid about putting an antenna on my roof, which is fucking bullshit, asshole. Sir, come an, on. An antenna is you, totally different from a satellite dish. Dude, you can't. If you legitimately live on drive, you would know that you cannot put anything on the fucking roof. Oh, I can because I live underneath your house and I got permission you from the county. Under, you are a fucking psycho, dude. You are a fucking psycho. I am not. Like, why are you saying yes, that? That's you are. so mean. I would never call you names. You're fucking crazy. You don't live under my house. It's a fucking rancher, dumbass. I, I Come li- on. Why do you got to be so fucking stupid like that? I live 25. Why, why do you got to do this? Why 20... are you going to fucking grow up? 25. Why don't you fucking meet me on <laughs> drive? If you are such a man, why don't you fucking meet me on drive? Well, it's a long walk. You know, I have to walk all the way to the exit tunnel. Uh, oh you my know, it's God. A good you are such. I can. I love it. Come on, let's keep talking. Let's let's see how much more stupid fucking shit can come out of your fucking mouth. Well, this is I all real. I believe you have my number, dude. You are you are so fucking in so much trouble because I, I I'm gonna have this phone call traced and you're gonna get your ass fucking beat, what dude. Do you, I, you don't know who to. You don't know who you're fucking messing with. Oh you wait, know who, who you're fucking? Messing oh gosh, with. what what do you mean? Who am I messing with? Uh, are you really important? You don't fucking know, man. You you don't fucking know are, are who you, you're messing with. Are you like super important? Like uh, you know, they, they mess no, with the wrong guy. No, but here's guy. the thing: <laughs> I will fuck your day up. I will fuck your day oh. up. I will take my fucking gun and I will fucking shoot your fucking head out. Well, that's not nice. Trust me. I, I don't fucking care what's nice. Stop calling people okay, and fucking listen, harassing them. James, you might want to tell your FBI friend that you're uh, threatening people on phone lines, that federal perfect, phone no, lines. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. I will state tell lines. them because here's the thing. You're fucking calling me, harassing me about something fucking stupid, telling me you live underneath my house and you're putting a fucking antenna on there. Dude, you're so full of shit. That's harassment. You're full of shit. You're it's not an antenna. Me. It's a satellite dish. Learn the difference, idiot. It's not. It doesn't matter. You, if, if you had any fucking sense and really lived on drive, you would know that you can't do any of that. And you don't live under my house because it's a fucking rancher with no nothing underneath of it. Listen, Come on, dude. Idiot. I, I'm, I'm not a member of the HOA there, so I don't have to follow those oh, dumb rules. Oh, here we go. I'm not a member of the HOA. Now you're starting that crap. Dude, you are so fucked well, you're, up. You're the one that said I can't put a satellite dish on the roof because of some stupid rules. I don't, I don't pay the HOA dues. I don't. Have okay, to do so then you don't live on. Then you don't live where you say you live. I live under your house, idiot. Under your <laughs> okay, house. Okay, here we go. Under the house. Let me guess. You live in the Amazon tunnels that you called me about before. 
I've on, never dude. talked to you about dude, Amazon dude, tunnels. That was dude, King. That was King dude, Richard. You're fucking crazy. That was dude, come on, stay on the phone. Fucking keep getting the trace. Listen, keep getting the trace. Come on, stay on the phone. What are you using? To, what I'm, are you using to trace? I'm staying on the phone. What are you using to trace the call? Uh, uh, dude, I'm because I'm gonna fucking come and I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, no, I, I, I didn't ask why. I said what equipment? Like, what's the brand name and model I'm number of the it. equipment? It's none of your fucking. Bit. It's none of your business. Is, is that because none it's imaginary? If you're so fucking smart, Mister Under the Ground Liver. You, then you would fucking know. Is that because you're fucking it's crazy? Because it's dude, imaginary. Dude, if you ever call my phone again, if you ever, uh, dude, I'm I'm not kidding. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Make sure you record this because I'm going to fucking kill you. Why would I record this? I'm going to kill you. 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 Recording and I'm going to kill you. I'm going to take my gun and fucking shoot your fucking head off. Because you're fucking psycho. You're psycho. You're fucking psycho. I'm going to fucking kill you. What's the brand and model number of your gun? I'm going to kill you. Why would I record this? It's none of your fucking business. It's none of your business. Is that because it's imaginary? Is this a joke? It's none of your fucking business. It's none of your business. Well, that's not nice. You did it to my mom. Not a problem. My electric show is very reasonable. I'm known as a mole man. There's lots of us around the country. Thanks, Joe DeVita, for that intro song that I just can't quit using. I think I've used that on the last three shows now, haven't I? Did you guys know that there's a video for that song? It has Joe DeVita playing all the instruments for it, and it's put together really nicely. And you should go watch it. It's linked in the show notes on snowplowshow.com. There's also a link in the YouTube description. Go watch that video. It's kind of cool to see. I think that's the only time Joe DeVita has made that kind of a video for us. Anyway, hi everybody. I'm Brad, your host. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. It's sponsored by five different people, and they are Denmark is a Real Country, Synthed, Mr. John, Christine, and of course, Fun Society Arcade. Thanks all five of you for supporting the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers. You know, to find that call, I couldn't remember which show it's on, that call that I played at the beginning of today's show, the one that the intro is based on, And guess how I found it? I went over to shitbradsays.com and I typed in, I'm going to kill you. And I saw a bunch of shows where I just played the Joe DeVita intro song because what this thing does is it searches through every single show, the closed captions of the shows on YouTube, and it finds any phrase that you type in. So I had to go all the way to the beginning and find the very first result. And it looks like that call is from a snowplow show, episode number 691. It's the one called You Are a Kookaboo. And that's where the crazy guy popped up. And I was right. I was just guessing in that call that King Richard was involved. And it just sounded like something he would do. And probably I'd already heard it. I didn't remember it at the time. But I talked to King Richard and he's like, yep, I definitely pranked this guy. And he found the call. And I bet you I can't find a link to that. But I'm pretty sure he put it on his YouTube since I got a hold of him, and maybe I'll have a link to that in the show notes too, if I can track that down. Man, I'm giving myself so much work to do, so much stuff to link in the show notes. I'm never going to get this posted. Uh, A couple episodes ago, somebody was asking me about the Walmart video, where we dressed up as Walmart employees, and we walked around inside of a Walmart and helped some customers, and I couldn't find it. I looked on YouTube. I think YouTube took it down. 
So I made a condensed version of it and I put it on TikTok. So if anyone wants to see that, go to Phone Losers on TikTok. It's all one word, just Phone Losers. Wait, no, it's not. Somebody else stole that from me. It's Phone Losers of America on TikTok. I don't even know my own TikTok name, but I've been posting on there recently clips of the prank call shows as I'm putting them together the same way that I do on Twitter. So if TikTok is more convenient for you, you can look over there instead and find it. But that Walmart video, that was pretty underwhelming. I forgot how funny it wasn't, so hopefully you guys still enjoy it. I do tell an old lady in the store that I have to go take a shit when she asks me a question about a product. I remember that being a suggestion from Carlito back when we did that. So go take a look at that. I'll probably have that linked in the show notes too. Today, you are going to hear a live show. It's a live show that I did on Saturday evening, right before the Dwight show, which happens every Saturday night at 7 o'clock Pacific time. He does a live prank call show, and I did one right before him. So you're probably wondering, Brad, how do I catch a live show? Well, it's very easy. You subscribe to the PLA Twitter, twitter.com slash phone losers. And then all you have to do is monitor Twitter all day, every single day, until you see an alert come up that I'm doing a live show, because that's where I announce them. And I'm pretty good about that. Every once in a while, I will forget. But most of the time, I do post the live show announcements on Twitter. And there's no schedule for live shows. I just do them whenever I want. I probably should get on a schedule again, like the good old days. But for now, I just do them whenever I want. And also, I've been doing my live shows lately on Twitch. So besides following me on Twitter, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash phone losers. And I don't do every show on Twitch, but that's another way to possibly get notified about live shows is to follow the PLA Twitch thing. This intro is getting way too long. I'm tired of talking. Here is the live show from Saturday night on Twitch. Hello? Cynthia? Fuck! I messed that up. <laughs> I said Cynthia and I clicked the hang up button. Hello? Cynthia, I hung up on you. I'm so sorry. It's your neighbor. Um, it's Roy. Victor. It's Roy. Huh? It's Roy. I'm, all, I'm around the corner on Almond. Oh, okay. How yes. you doing? How are you tonight? I'm doing good. That's good. Hey, do you think you could clean all that shit up out of your yard? What yard? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Your yard. Just clean up all that shit in your yard. Making the whole neighborhood look like a bunch of hobos. Please. So we are, there, is a, there is a huge problem in our basement and they are, the city is working. What, what, what are you talking about? Well, don't make me about? feel bad. Come on. Uh, I'm just, like, in general, I, like, your basement problems are bringing down the value of the neighborhood. Get, get your shit together, lady. Clean up your shit, please. I don't know what are you talking about. And also, can you stop using my trash cans? What trash can am I talking to? Well, what are you talking so, about? Sometimes you walk around the corner and you use my trash can. And I know I don't use up all of my trash cans. Because why would I do that? You live on Almond and why would I use your trash can? Yeah, maybe because you need the exercise. I don't know. I think but, you, you, look, are, you are talking to the wrong person. I'm not, but, I'm not using your trash can. No, I why li- would I use it? Like, like uh, from the back, I live kind of like diagonally from you across the field, you know? Just, just get all that shit out of your yard. Just get it out of there. What's your name? Uh, Roy. Roy on Almond. How? I mean, this is not a nice way to talk. To I know. I know. You okay. Can talk to me, to to me nicely also, and I don't know what are you talking about. What 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 do we have there? We we clean all everything. I'm what just, is going I'm on? I'm just hoping you can please not use my trash can anymore. Okay, because. You have See, your why own. Why would I use your trash can? Let me give it to my husband. But, what are oh, you no, talking no, about? Oh no, no, I don't want to talk to your husband. Me and him do not get along. Do not put your husband on. Just please don't use my trash can anymore, because your husband's not the one doing it. It's mostly just you. I don't use your trash can. Why would I use it? We have two big trash cans: one yeah. for recycling and one for other. Why would I use your when you live on almond? My trash can is bigger than your trash can, and I know it's excessive. We've never even come come close to using the entire thing, but that doesn't mean you can just use it all willy-nilly on your own. It's not yours. That's my trash can. I pay for it. I don't know what are you talking about. You you come and show me what I what are you talking about. 
You, you keep using you my trash can. Come to my house right now and show me what I'm doing. Don't put your trash bags in my trash can. That's my trash can. I think Please. I think you are mistaken. No. Mm -mm. Okay, let me talk to the husband. Okay. Hurry up. Let me. What What is your What is your Roy? Uh, Roy. 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 And what is your um, uh, almond uh, almond drive address? Almond and what? Yeah, three 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 nine. I don't know. Hold on. I kind of want to just abandon this one. Hold on, I'm getting you. I'm getting my husband. What happened? Are you... Yeah, let me give I, it to my husband. I don't. Oh, you're going to give it to your husband. All right. You can, don't, okay. Don't Maa mute. Okay. Okay. Neighbor, the person is just a boulder. Can I take your post your trash in my trash can? Please. Ah, we can. I take why do you put your trash can in my? We don't. We don't use anybody's trash can. We have our own trash can. I'll take care of this. <laughs> just a minute. Just a minute. Hold on. He's talking. He'll, he'll talk to you. Is he looking at you in disbelief? Huh? Nothing. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, you are. Yes. Good evening. This. Hello. I'm Roy. Yes. Good evening. I, yeah. I, what kind of? Oh, yeah. I don't know why she was talking about a trash can. I was just uh, calling to uh, say that I really like the 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 tree, the tree in your yard. That's all. Which tree? Uh, the big tree. I like it. It's a pretty tree. Good job on that tree. Okay. Thank you. All right, I love you. Thank you. I'm I'm abandoning the call. I've I've made a, I've made a corporate decision that this call is not going anywhere, and I've decided to abandon it. Abandon it. And that's why I'm hanging up right now. I'm hanging up that phone. All right. I didn't like that call, you guys. I just wanted to yell at someone about the shit in their yard because somebody, uh, apparently somebody in the chat room told me the other day to do those again. Someone in the voicemails, I think? Or was it on YouTube? Someone told me I had to yell at people about their yards. There's a few HOAs in here, so I'm calling from uh, Nick's, Nick's list. Hello. Hi, Christy? Yes. Well, it says Kristen on, on the directory, but you said Christy on your voicemail. So I'm going with Christy. Who is it? Uh, it's, Roy, yes, your, who is it? it's Roy, your neighbor. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I live just kind of around the corner from you guys. I'm over on Almond. Okay. How are you doing? Uh, fine, thank you. Oh, that's good. Hey, do you think you could clean up all that shit out of your yard? I'm sorry? Could you just please clean up all that shit out of your, out of your yard, please? What shit in my yard? You know, just all that about? shit. Just clean up all that shit. Get all that shit out of there. Especially in the back. I, I'm i sorry. I'm very confused at what you're talking about. Mia, I'm on the board with the HOA. I'm just calling to say that you have to get rid of all that shit out of your yard. Just get it out of there. Okay, I'll take care of that. You no, know, you need to do it right now. While I'm on the phone... Don't hang up. Get out there and clean up your shit. It's not complicated. Thanks. Thanks, Zoo. Hello? Hey, Shelly. Who's this? It's Roy, your neighbor. Hi, Roy. Hey, I live around the corner. I'm over... I'm, well, I'm not around the corner. I'm over on Tamarack Drive. Okay. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, my wife would just want me to call you up and ask when you're going to get all that shit out of your yard. What shit? You know, just all the shit. Why don't you go fuck off, Roy? Hey, that's not nice. Why, why are you being like that? All right, I'm done with the whole shit idea. I'm officially done with it. What am I doing? No more shit. What am I doing next, you guys? <laughs> Carol, call her back. A 40-foot skeleton on your front lawn. Okay. Hello? Hey. It, it's Roy. Is this uh, Robert? Yes. Oh, hey. It's it's uh, Dave from the HOA. 
It's your oh, the, the homeowners yeah. a group. Yep. Oh That's yeah. The, let me get my wife. Oh no, yeah, no. We're, I'll wife. just tell you. We're, we're, I'm just letting you know. We're we're coming over later tonight. We're going to install a 40 foot skeleton in your front yard. Oh. 40 foot tall uh, skeleton on your front lawn. I don't think I want. I don't, I don't think I want that in my yard. Well, no, we're trying to spread it out. We're we're trying to. Uh, we're just putting decorations up for the people who, um, you know, just are kind of Grinches about holidays and don't do things. So we're just. Well, I'd, I know. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Oh no! It's like we've already decided. Uh, we're just gonna put a 40 foot skeleton up. Uh, it's no, gonna. We're not. It's gonna require a couple of cement footings. No, we're not. Goodbye, sir. Can I talk to your wife, please? I'm calling him right back. Carol's calling him right back. Robert? Robert? Yeah. It's it's Carol from the Homeowners Association. No, you're not. Yes, I am. We're Goodbye. putting that skeleton in your yard, sir. You just call me. Forget it. I know. Oh, and my I husband wondered. called you. We're putting the skeleton in your yard. I mean, not us, but no, we, have not. A, we have a team. He walks my yard. I'm going to sick my dog on him. You Goodbye. better. That's illegal, sir. You can't do that. Not allowed. Hello? Hey, where's, where's Julie? Who? Julie. Julie who? You probably got the wrong number. No, I don't. No, I don't be that kind of jealous boyfriend person. Just put Julie on the phone. I'm not going to steal Julie, her from you. Julie who? Julie, put her on the phone, asshole. Hey, bro. Hey. Go fuck your mother. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, dude, hey. Why are, you, why are you afraid I'm going to take Julie from you? Just put her on the phone. You're kind of you're, you're you're being that about? You're being that guy. Just put her yeah, on. I am being that guy. A little weird. See what's going on, bro? Why are you upset? You know, it's, it's, you it's 2021. Bro, hey, bro, you, you don't have to protect your woman. Asking about Julie, bro. Dude, take Julie. I don't you, give a fuck. You know Go what? For it, Julie's an independent woman, and she doesn't need you, like, screening her calls. That's what I'm saying. You will treat like, hey, hey, you like will a treat damn right. secretary. You will treat her right, my guy. So just go for it. Well, put her on the phone, then. I don't even want no, her. Bro, no She's dude, not even dude, that attractive. It sounds like you want her, bro. Yeah, dude, it sounds like you want her, bro, because you're calling. No, she's not even it, that bro. attractive, and that's you know that's why she's with you. So I'm not no, trying. I'm not going to take her from you, her, bro. bro. Take her, bro, because you're the one calling me upset, dude. Don't call this. Oh, I'm not upset. I just think you're kind of a pussy, not Bye. not not wanting to put Julie on. Julie, who? Julie. Oh, you know who Julie is. No, I put I really Julie don't, on the I'm goddamn phone. Four year old daughter, dude. You have the wrong number. No, I, I don't. Okay. Who I talk to this? Julie on this number every single night. It's in my speed what? dial. Five eight six three. Okay, yeah, uh, that's the number. That is the number. Thank you for allowing me to test what? my new system. That's not fucking about drugs. Uh, I ain't on drugs. You're the one on drugs, being all paranoid, thinking I'm going to take Julie from you. Just put her on the phone. Fucking take Julie. Uh, no one gives a fuck. Wait, wait, is it like a reverse? Oh, you're pretending, oh, you're pretending you don't even know who Julie is. Now you're telling me to take her? Dude, I was just wasting our time. Dude, I'm not putting on Julie's eye. Fuck Julie. You take that back. No, that is, that no this is fun. No, no, no. He's fucking with us now. This is like, this is cool, man. No, All right, I, I love like, you. I hey, get... hey. I love you. Bye. I was bored with that. I, I think that may have been a wrong number, you guys. I think Nick may have given us the wrong number. Hello? Don. Don? Harold. Hello. I don't know. It, it's Roy. I'm with the Homeowners Association. But you're not in the HOA hood, so it's fine. You're not in trouble. What do you want? Uh, can you clean up all that shit out of your yard? What are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Just get all that shit out of your yard. I know you're not within the confines of the HOA, but that doesn't mean you have to live like a hobo. Get, get Who all are you? get. Uh, it's Roy from the homeowners association. Yeah. Yeah. Just we you don't. know, get get all that shit out of your yard, please. Okay. Good night. But, like you're, you know, you're close enough to the HOA. You're affecting our property values. So I, I was gonna do something with the HOA there. And uh, guess what? He's not with an HOA. I saw that at the last minute. Like every other. Oh. Hey, Tamara. Yes. It's Roy. From the homeowners association. 
Who? It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Okay. There's going to be a couple guys come over tonight. They're hooking up a fog machine in your yard and the skeleton. It's like for Halloween. It's just going to be there till about November 1st. Why? Uh, Because your yard's not decorated. We're just kind of going around randomly and decorating houses on the, you know, the houses that look kind of scarce. The people that don't decorate. No, not so we're doing, my house. Oh no, we are. We're plugging in a spooky fog machine, and we're doing a skeleton. No, it's, like it's, it's a, it's, ma'am, it's a very tall skeleton. We're gonna plug it in. You okay. Don't, you don't have to do anything. Well, you don't, what? No, nope, but so mine's already decorated. See, so I know you don't know what you're talking no, about. No, I I know it's decorated, but it's not decorated very good. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh yes, I do. Like maybe you think you're doing a good job, but you're not. So we're gonna add to your decorations. We're putting in a spooky fog machine and a skeleton. It's like a very tall skeleton. It's almost as tall as your house. Okay. Well, I think that's a bad idea. Well, uh, it's not up to you, and you need to... What street do you live on? You need to leave it alone, okay? When when it gets there, when they get there and they put that in, you, you better not be messing with it. What street do you live on? I'm not even... I'm over in the nice part of the neighborhood. Uh, do you know where Larkins Drive? Yeah, what, what's the name of this place? Larkins Drive. Do you know where Larkins Drive is? I do, yeah. Okay, yeah, you know, the nice neighborhood. Okay. And we actually, you know, take pride in our decorations and stuff over here. We're trying to spread that around a little bit. That's great. Great. Yep. Well, you enjoy. So, uh, they're going to be over there probably within the hour to uh, install the fog machine and start getting the skeleton thing ready. So who requested that you do this? Uh, it's a decision that the HOA made. We all made it together. Really? So they're going to do this to every house in the subdivision? Uh, no, just the houses that uh, kind of have given up on life and don't even try anymore. Okay. So who put you up to this call? Uh, it's not a prank call, ma'am. Uh, yes, that's it is. That's what you're suggesting. No, I do not make prank calls. I am a no, grown, grown-ass man. Prank calls are for kids. Okay. All right. So well, am I, have fun, Roy. Am I offending your decorating skills? Is that the problem? Uh, not my skills. No, okay. I have no, well, no you, decorating skills. Oh, well, really? Because you were just bragging about how amazing your yard that's looked a minute ago. What? Yeah, that's not me. I'm not the decorator in the family. Oh, who did it? Put him on. Did what? Put, put the man on the phone. Oh, he's not here right now. Oh, okay, so it was the man, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, talk to you later, Roy. Okay, we'll see you in about an hour. Okay. Okay. Bye. So I told her to drop the attitude before we get there. Why was she uh, next door? Oh, yeah, she was trying to get rid of her um, her used gas dryer. I guess I could actually do the ideas in these posts. Sorry, Nick. I'm just kind of not. A trailer park? What? What am I saying to a lady in a trailer park place? Alright, we're setting up a bounce house. We're, we're gonna put their trailer in it. That's what we're doing. Hello? Hey, Sandra. Hello? Sandra, it's Roy. From the trailer park? I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, I work here in the office. Work in the office. Correct. Why are you being all weird about this? I don't know what you mean. This is my fiance's phone. Your what phone? My fiance's phone. He just got a new phone. Oh, okay. That's nice, honey. Hey, uh, they want me to call you up and ask you to please stop um, setting black cats loose around the trailer park because I know it's Halloween and everything. But you're still black basic. cats loose around the trailer park. We don't live in the trailer park. Mm, uh, you don't live on Roos Drive. No. That's weird. Wait, is this Sandra? My name is Sandra, but I don't live in a trailer park. Uh, we live on Garfield. <laughs> Freaking Nick. Hey, you tell that man in the background just to shut the fuck up. This is Sean. This is my fiance. Oh, what are you doing on his phone? Why don't you let him? Like, you don't need to be monitoring his phone like that. That's not cool. 
If you're going to be marrying him. What are you him, talking about? I if, don't, if you're going to be marrying him, that. you need to have a little bit more trust. Wait, you're talking about boat. letting black cats out in a trailer park? Hello, sir. It's who? Yeah, what can I do for you? Oh, hey, uh, your your future wife is, uh, she's picking up your phone and checking you out, making sure you're not getting up to anything. Doesn't seem like a very trusting relationship. I think you guys should maybe try counseling. What do you mean? The counseling. You know, it just it seems like uh, yeah, guess, you guys need to work on your communication a little bit. Right. Uh, how much older are you than her? Like, How more, do you know this information? More than 20 years or less? Less than 20 years, but how do you know this information? Oh, no, I, she told me that you were her fiancé and that she was picking up your phone to uh, just make sure there's no girls calling you. No girls calling you? No, I just, we just set up a new phone service. Who is that? How come you're not giving her her own phone? She has her home phone. Her own phone? Yes, her own phone. She has one. Well, you tell her to just stick to her own phone and leave yours alone. She shouldn't be picking that up. You might have some girl but calling. How do you know this information now? How, yeah, and how are you calling me telling me that I live in a trailer park and I have not letting black cats out? <clears throat> oh, that sounds like a weird thing. Th that part must have been a mistake because we thought you lived uh, in the trailer park. And, um, like you were the one that was going around just letting all the black cats loose around the trailer park just to make it more spooky. And, you know, that, that introduces a real problem. And you shouldn't be doing that. We live in a condo. Oh, okay. Well, you know, you don't have to look down on trailer park people. It's, you know, we used to live in a trailer park. Oh, on, on Buavus Drive? And what was it? Uh, Buavus. Buavus. Yeah, that's the one. That's where my mother and my stepbrother used to live. Oh. Well, can you tell them to stop letting black cats loose all over the they got, trailer? They got thrown out. What? They They've got. been removed. Well, oh, they, if they moved, why are they doing that in this neighborhood? That just seems weird. Like, they have They're not in that neighborhood for the last month and a half. Why are they letting cats loose still then? Nobody's been over there. In, my stepbrother's in jail, and my mother lives in a different state, so it would be impossible. What'd your stepbrother do? Tried to stab me. Why'd he do that? Because he's a jerk off. What'd you do? What'd you say to him right before he tried to do that? What is he? What is this guy? Dude, like, who what? are you now, anyway? Well, you can't just you, you can't just get that far in the story and stop talking. Come on, what'd you say to him? I'm not going to tell you anything like that. It's sort of personal, but I'd like to Please. know who you are and how did you get my phone number? Why are you calling? Oh, it's Roy. I'm, uh, I work here. Hey, you have my phone number already? Hey, shut up. It's Roy. I work in the... Uh, hey, the... don't fucking tell me to shut up, motherfucker. I'll meet up with you and I'll fucking smack the shit out of you. Oh, I doubt it because you sound like a pussy. You, you yeah, I sound like a pussy. You yeah. sound like a fucking homo, you fuck. You're, you're the kind of guy that goes around you almost you getting... Work, almost, work, almost, I almost, a feeling almost, I almost, 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 almost. Getting, I know who the fuck you are. I'm going to come to your fucking house. Oh, you better not. I, I got the door locked, so good luck. You're a fucking shit. You're a fucking pedophile. I know who you are. Whoa. You're the one on fucking Megan's list, you fucking pedophile prick. How come you were living next to pedophiles yeah, before? Like little boy, you little son of a bitch. You'll get yours one day. Oh, hey, no, man, I won't. Call my phone one more who, fucking time. Who, I'm at your Who's going to give it to me? The guy that, 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 that like Go just goes around mother, dodging knives and stuff all the time? You sound, like, what? you sound like you drink White Claws. Yeah, you sound like it's you called, drink It's piss. called White Claw. I don't drink piss, drink. sir. I drink semen. There's a difference. Because you're a fucking homo. You're a fag. Yeah, you but there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, though. It's, it's cool. I'm on my way to your fucking house. I'm going to tell you I'll be knocking at your door in 20 minutes. How, how are you on your way? I, don't, I, don't, I didn't hear you get in the car, and I didn't hear the car start up. I didn't, I didn't hear any beeping sounds from the seatbelt. It's weird. It's like you're lying or something. I'm calling the police on you right now. Harassment. For one single phone call where I, I just had the wrong number? Call the police. recorded. What'd you record with? My other phone. Oh, with the, just like, did you take a video? Yeah, it takes video. Are you going to put it on Worldstar? 
Um, no, maybe Megan's list. <laughs> okay. Do they have like okay. a thing for what? Fucking child molester, motherfucker. Your phone number pops right up. I'm a I know. I, did, I didn't block it. I was just, I was calling to I'm ask you to stop doing the black cat you. thing. I'm going to knock the shit out of you. No, you're, pu you're a pussy. Yep. You don't you're know how to knock the shit out of anybody. I'm going to tell you what a pussy I am, motherfucker. Okay. I did 12 years in the state penitentiary. I ain't oh, no my God. It's a whole family of, whole family of jailbirds. Out of you. What? I'm going to beat you unmerciful, you motherfucker. What would you go to jail you for? Yep. I don't give a fuck because I've been there and did that. I I, don't give I'm a asking, what would you go to jail for? What happened? Any fucking business. Well, you brought it <laughs> up. <laughs> like you putting black cats in trailer park. What, what's now I'm going to put so many black cats in that fucking trailer park, your head is going to spin. You think you were going crazy before? You're going to go fucking berserk. The only thing you get 12 years for is uh, diddling kids. Did you diddle some yeah, kids? You no, know, exactly. And Brendan Megan's list. That's what you did. But, well, how come I'm not the one that was in prison for 12 years and it was you? It's kind of like you you're were? projecting. You were. We're going to finish this conversation. I was in prison. Work and we're gonna finish this oh, it's tomorrow? It takes a long time to drive here. I thought you were already on the way. Yeah. We're on the seat. What happened? Afterwards. It's like you're full of shit or something. I already just pulled your IP address up. I know right where you're at. What's my IP address? List it right now. I'll tell you in one second. I thought he already you're, had it. Now it's going to take a second. What happened? It's like you're both lying or something, and you don't really have my IP address. They're fucked. All right, what is it? IP address? What is it? Go. Where if you, you get my phone number first, tell me that. Oh, no. No, I want my IP address. You don't get into a conversation and not finish your answers. Why don't you just shut the fuck up and get back in the kitchen? Go play on your cell phone that you yeah. pretend you have, I guess. I pretend I have one. Well, funny we just said another hey. one up, huh? Hey! Hey! Are you sure that you even have the right phone number since this is a brand new phone number as of right now? Um, well, it says Sandra on here. It says Sandra's been going around releasing black cats all over the trailer park. You need to stop that. I'm going to start doing it more. Where does, where does it say not. that? Uh, I am going to It's here on where my report it? here in the office. I'm going to put more than black where cats is, in there. I'm going to put that? every cat in there. Uh, that wouldn't, wouldn't even make sense because it's Halloween. Why would you use different colored cats? You're obviously a fucking jar gag. A jar gag? What? Drug oh, addict. You're God. actually on oh. heroin. Or you're on one of the two. What We're meth. Say Sandra the fags like the meth. Sandra they probably am meth. Black cats out. What? Where does it say Sandra Lee puts black cats out? I don't know. Million, crystal methamphetamine soon, shouldn't you get going? So do you, oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely have to get going. I'm getting really bored with this call, but uh, make sure you get some, uh, you know, counseling before you get married. Don't just be getting all yeah, married nilly, willy nilly. You gotta work. learn to communicate and uh, maybe. We're gonna communicate tomorrow right after I get done work. And, and trust me. You know, tell tell your woman to stop answering your phone. She can trust you. Why, like, why she gotta like screen all your calls like that? Ask that tomorrow after I get off work. Ask I'm her. Be ask her. Be like, honey, uh, you're not my goddamn secretary. Leave my phone alone. I don't need you screening my calls, bitch. Say that he to says, her. When he says, "God damn it, answer my phone, please," uh, that happens. Hey, why don't you shut up, lady? I wasn't talking to you. Why don't you shut the fuck up, asshole? Okay. Why don't you go fuck the little baby suck a cock? All right. I love you. Yeah, tomorrow after work, though, when I do, you're going to have some regrets. Okay. Because the medical department's going to sort out your problems. The medical okay. department of what company? You're going to see. You're going to see. <laughs> can't, I can't you just tell me? I tell somebody I'm going to meet them, I'm going to meet them. I know where the fuck you live. Just, just like I'm when you're at your fucking door, and I'll wait around all fucking night. Just like when I'm you say, I've got your IP address, I've got their IP address. I can just read it off to them right now. All right, go. What's the IP address? Tomorrow. What, I'll what's deal that? With you. No, you can just tell me right now. You said you have it. Yeah, you have mine, right? Read it off right now. No, I never said that. He said he had my IP address. What is it? He traced me. He back traced me and got my IP. What's the IP? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna come there tomorrow because I know right where your house is. You're on Google Maps right now. Did you get that from the IP address? You and your nasty ass fucking trailer. You look like a, you live in a fucking dump. You guys used to live in a trailer. How come you're ripping on people living in trailers? 
I lived in a trailer for three months. But, so, I was only selling fucking so drugs to people to you there. You've lived in jail longer than you've lived in a trailer. You lived with your mother longer than you lived, period. Good one. You got me. All right, I'll I love you. you. Yeah. Mwah. See you man. Hey, if you come here tomorrow, I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. I'm going to All right, I'm bye. I was bored with that. I just wanted it to end. So that was wrong, Nick. That was a wrong number. I mean, I guess you just found the old address. Oh, look at this. Someone sent me their grandma's phone number. Oh, wait, no, it's their mom. Um, her name's Natalie. I wonder what I will do to her. Whatever will I do? 40 minutes, everybody. 40 minutes till the Dwight show. Janice. Hello. Where's Janice? Pardon me? Is this Janice? No, who's this? Ah, uh, this is Roy. I, I work here at the uh, apartments. I'm here in the office. Okay. I guess I got the wrong number. Sorry about that. You're you're trying to call Janice? That's my daughter. Oh. Well, can you just pass along a message for her from the uh, apartment office? Okay. Can you tell Janice to please stop stealing recycling bins? to make gin in her bathroom. She's not allowed to do that, even if she returns them. This has to be a joke. Oh, no, I wouldn't kid about this. We're not allowed to kid here at the apartments. Stealing, recycling bins to make gin in the bathroom? Yeah, it doesn't even make sense, because there's, you know, there's like little drainage holes in those recycling bins. <laughs> okay. Like, how would the gin, okay. it doesn't make, it's stupid. All right. Thank you. You, you raised an idiot, sir. Janet. Hey, he was going to go get Janice. He was yelling for Janice. That's bullshit. Said she wasn't there. Thanks for the idea, F in reality. The, uh, the, the bathtub gin idea. Hello? Gina! Yes? It's, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Roy, 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 help yeah. me. Yeah. Hey, uh, they just want me to call you up and ask if you clean up all that shit out of your yard. About. Just in your yard, all that shit. Um, they just want me to give you a call and ask if you could please just kind of clean up all that shit. What are you talking about? Uh, all the shit in your yard. Can you please just maybe clean that up? Um, they're I'm saying really they're saying front up. and back. Where? Who are you calling, Roy? Oh, is this not Gina? Just, what are you talking about? Can you please clean up the shit out of your yard? Clean up all that shit. There's no shit in my yard. Well, you know what I mean by shit. Just clean up all that shit. Just clean it up. Get, get what that, shit? Get that shit out of there. What shit? Uh, you know, you know exactly. What, why are you messing around with me? Just, just they, they want me to ask you to clean up all the shit out of your yard. That's all. It's no big deal. There's no shit in my yard. You're not in trouble. I don't even an association. What? There's no association. Yes, there is. The association. No. Nope. Yep. So you need to clean up nope. all that shit. And you know what? Even if you weren't with the homeowners association, you should you should still just clean up your yard. You know, to be be a decent human being. <laughs> Don't have all that shit in your yard. Funny. All right. It's not supposed to Whatever. be funny. It's hilarious. Okay. What you doing tonight? Answering stupid phone calls. What else? I don't know who this is. Goodbye. All right, bye. I'm just ruining all these all these numbers from Nick. As usual. Okay, what's my plan? It is 6.30. I'm calling somebody. They're in an HOA. We don't have to do an HOA call. What am I going to say to her? Quick, quick, tell me. Mandatory Halloween candy tossing practice. Hello. Hey, Jill. Jill. Uh, you must have the wrong number. Oh, Bob. Is Bob there? I was calling for Bob, and I'm calling from the HOA. You don't have to lie to me. I'm not a uh, marketer. No, this you've got the wrong number. There's no reason to lie. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm with the the homeowners association. 
You dumb hoe. You have the wrong number. I do not. Like, why are you pretending you're not Jill? Okay, well, if that's a wrong number, it's this other lady's fault. Because it's not Nick's fault. Because that is the number she posted. I'll delete that one, I guess. Hello. Richard. Yes. Hey, it's it's uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, you had those complaints last year about handing out sand to children for Halloween, and then also handing out toothbrushes and floss. Can you no, I didn't do anything like that. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, can you please just not do that again this year? Because, uh, you know, it, people don't. It, it's supposed to be a fun holiday, and I didn't. Just, I don't remember anything like, like that. No, you, what are you talking about? Well, you're bumming everybody out by just you know handing out toothpaste and floss. Well, like, we gave we gave out get, candy last year. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, everyone gets what you're saying. You know, like you know, like de candy definitely causes cavities, sir. Why do you hang up? Why do you do that? Hello. Hi, uh, Richard. My yeah. Hu my husband just called you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it, like he's he's for real. You know, he's what he's on the HOA board. And uh, they they just don't want you handing out floss and and toothpaste. That's, that's we not... didn't do anything. We were having our candy last year. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And and, and also bags of sand. That's just mean. You know. You're like, crazy. Like little, little kids don't. Want Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure he hung up. You hung up, right, sir? Batteries in general for Halloween. Wait, what? Dead batteries? <laughs> hand out dead batteries? Now, I kind of want to do that. I want to hand out dead batteries. Jess. Hey, Jessica. Yeah. It's Brad from the Homeowners Association. Hey, um. The Homeowners the Association yeah. for, for what? Oh, the, you know, the Homeowners Association that. HOA? Yeah. Um, they want me to call you up and just ask if you could please not... You know, last year you, you were giving out dead batteries to the kids. You know, like little double-A dead batteries instead of candy. Can you not do that this year? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we did. We gave out dead batteries. Who is this? Well, it just it freaks out the kid, the parents a little bit. They don't oh. know what's going on. and Yeah. They, they think it's some weird terrorist threat. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Just, we won't be giving out dead batteries for Halloween this okay. year. Thank you. I appreciate okay, that. Bye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I love you. All right. That was a successful prank call there. <laughs> Baggies of weed. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Who's this? You better stop. I got a call from, Sir. from a gentleman. Mm hmm. Just what? before I called you a minute ago. Really? What did he yes, is say? This, is there a gentleman there that, that used your phone a minute ago? I don't know if I'd call him a gentleman. My my son's here. Yeah, may I speak with him? Oh, no. No, he's only 14. You, you sound much older. Why, why are you calling here for kids? That's weird. Because he just called me and said that my that someone in the was using recycling bins to make gin in their bathroom. Why would they do that? Because there's like little holes in the recycling bin. It wouldn't even hold the gin. That doesn't make sense. Right, so is he, that's what he said to me. No, I think you're making this up. Like, uh, it, it's, you know, I caught you. you. You were trying to call for a 14-year-old boy, and you're busted, but you don't have to make up some weird story about gin. That's just... Oh, uh, okay. No, let's just, uh, okay. Let's just hang up right, and move on. Right. But, like, you, you need to stop calling here for my son. He's way too young. All right. Hey, Dwight just called me. He wants me to be on the the conference for the, the show that's going to happen in exactly 23 minutes over at, um, wait, what is his YouTube? Hold on. Hello? Candace. Yeah? It's Roy. Uh, I'm your neighbor. Roy, my yeah. neighbor. Yes, your neighbor Roy. I, I live. I don't. I'm not on your street. I'm over on uh, James Road. Oh, know, like a block over. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. 
Um, we, we were there last year. We were trick or treating. Um, uh, yeah. My my kid, the 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 my daughter, she went as uh, you know uh, Frozen, whatever those characters' names yeah. are. You remember that one? Yeah. Can, yeah. Yeah. You gave her a bar of soap and an empty beer can. Can you please not do that this year? What? Is this a joke? <laughs> no, I wouldn't kid about that. She was. I mean, she wasn't upset, but uh, my wife was a little freaked, I, that, freaked no, out that about it. No, that is not. That was not me at all. Well, no, we're sure it was you. I thought you were. No, I. It is not. We we write down uh, where everything comes from, so if there's razor blades, we know who it is. And you're the one that gave out the soap and the empty no, beer cans and kids' bags. I don't think. No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so, Roy. <laughs> I don't think so. We're, we're, I have a good night. I don't think so, Roy. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tell Bye-bye. that man, yeah. man to shut the fuck? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Had a lot of terrible pranks tonight. Yeah. Peggy. Yeah. It's it's Peggy, it's Roy, it? your neighbor. Hello. Yeah. Hi. I live over on James. Ra- hold on for hold on for a second. It's okay? all that racket. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm coming right back. Ma'am. Hold on. Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah. What, what's, Hi, how are you? What's all that racket? I am uh, with my grandchildren. And I don't care. Hey, can you please I, stop dancing in front of my house on TikTok? What? Like, please just stop dancing in front of my house on TikTok. I know it's basically public space and you're on the sidewalk wait a minute, honey, wait, and wait, 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 man i just don't, I, I don't want my house on tiktok because you know what somebody figured out where my house is and they sent me a pizza you know what i don't i don't get on tiktok and i don't know if somebody's using my name for real i don't well, even live on jeans anymore i know but you 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 but you keep coming over to my why are you coming to my house then I live on jeans. I'm, I'm in a whole other. I'm in a whole other state. What? Why would you? I come? live in a whole other. Are you just using like? Are you using like a green screen background of my house? Because that's even weirder. No. What? Just no. use someone's house around there to do your dances. I am a 62 year old black woman. Why but, would I be on TikTok? I don't never. I've never. There are been on TikTok. Plenty of 62 year olds on TikTok. Plenty of black women on TikTok. Uh, but, but who's on your, uh, but you know, really, we need to figure this out. Okay, well, it's just because, causing problems for me because people are, I'm you, you know. I'm telling you, it's not me, whenever, I, but I need to know who's using my name. Whenever you dance in front of my house on TikTok, my house number is visible. People can see that. You, you, please, this is some kind of please, joke or what? No, I would not joke about this, ma'am. I'm a grown man. And I'm a grown sixty-two-year-old woman. You know, Judge. You know, Judge Judy's on TikTok, and she doesn't complain that she's sixty-two. Well, she old. She's older than that. But yeah, no, for yeah, real. yeah. Well, no, why do you keep bringing you know, up your age you then? What, what, why do you keep what bringing your up? Name again? Uh, this is Roy. You keep bringing up your age, like sixty-two-year-olds aren't, aren't allowed on TikTok. What's your What's your last name? Because I want to pull it up and see. Who's using my name for real? Oh, well, you can't look it up under my name. It says Peggy here. No. Wrong. How old is Judge am Judy? I, am I your friend on there or what? On what? On TikTok. I mean, on Facebook. Oh, no. Uh, no. No, I don't, even, I don't even use TikTok. But you keep coming over and doing all the different dances in front of my house? I'm telling you, I don't even, you know what, you wasted my time, so I don't even, uh... Well, you're, you're wasting my time, because, no you know what, like, my, my house is getting internet famous, alright. Whose idea was that? Thank you, whoever suggested that. The TikTok thing. I lost it. I don't know where I went. A pyre? What's that word, Mullen Wolf? Is that just the big pile of stakes that they burn witches on? Let's burn real witches in their yard. Good evening. Mary Jo. Who's calling? It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hey, okay. We're going to bring some uh, Halloween decorations over into your yard tomorrow, uh, tomorrow during the day. 
They're gonna they're gonna be up for the next couple of weeks. I'm just letting you know. Oh, I I don't understand. I uh, it, this is the <laughs> homeowners mm, association. Yep, yep, that's the one. So uh, it's just gonna be it's you know like they used to burn witches at the stake. Those things, yeah. they're going to put one of those up, and it's going to be a pretend fire, and there's going to, but it's going to be a real fire. It's just, you know, it's not going to be really burning the witch, uh, but yeah, there, it's going to be pyrotechnics in your yard for the next two weeks. Oh, I didn't. So, have you done that before? Uh, no, this is a new thing we're trying. We've never done anything like this before. Uh, but oh, my okay. my my cousin Steve, he's pretty good with fire and and gas lines and all that stuff. It should be just fine oh, okay. in your front yard. But the yard. fire won't be anywhere close to the house. Oh no, it'll be out there in the yard. You're, you're completely safe. Uh, it's yeah, just you know we're just we're putting random decorations all over the neighborhood, and we chose your yard for the witch burning. Oh okay, yeah, and with the commons area over to the um, I've got let me get my direction straight to the south of the yard. Uh, that commons area is a mm -hmm. nice location too. So okay, well thanks for letting me know. Oh, I, you're um, welcome. I, I, I would have been surprised. I, I actually am, I, I have, I back and forth between the two, but I'm actually sleeping at my condo mm -hmm. in downtown Rochester. So, Do you have grandkids? I, I do, but, but they're not in the Okay, that's good, because you don't want any kids near that fire. That's real fire. That, that'll set a kid on fire if they get near it. So make sure yeah, if you well, see any so kids are in your yard, you yell at them. Whoa. Well, but that's just but that's just it. I'm not really, I'm not there to supervise if there is anyone coming into my yard. That's okay. what I'm trying well, okay. to tell you. Know what? you. They'll only do it once. The what? They'll only do it once. They'll only touch that fire once, then they'll know not to do it. Yeah, well, as I said, this concerns me a little bit. I guess I can ask my neighbors. <sighs> yeah, across yeah. Ask the your neighbors to keep an eye on the fire that's going to be burning continuously in your yard for the next two to three weeks. Uh, Again, this is, so what's going to be the source of the fire? Uh, a tank. There's going to be an underground tank. We're burying it in the yard, and it's just for Halloween. And you know, it's all in good fun. It's just. Uh, you know, it, it harkens back to the days where we used to uh, accuse innocent women of being witches, and we would the, the whole town would rally around them and and you know drag them to the stake and throw rocks at them and set them on fire. Yeah, I, you're gonna have I that in your know, yard. I know, but this all sounds. Can you maybe put it in the commons instead no. of in my yard? No, your yard's perfect. It'll look good. Like your house is a good backdrop for this because your house is so spooky looking. Thanks for your cooperation. You know, I, I'm really not cooperating with you, and this this all has me very concerned. What what? Uh, th this is the homeowners association. Will you stop saying that. Listen, ma'am, are you offended by the F word? Am I what? Offended by the F word? What F word? The the F word. You know the F word. Because uh, the the fake witch that's going to be in in the fire. You know, dying eternally or i mean for the next three weeks in your yard she's gonna scream in uh, agony and one of the things she screams is the f word you know i i i i'm so i really don't i, I i'm you this is very upsetting to me it's for realism i know but i'm concerned about liability i'm concerned oh, about who when, when was this decided on and who on the oh, board could i talk it, to it's, about ma'am it's a very small fire it's it's not actually going to set anything on fire it's just going to be like a little bitty flames we just want it to look real it's like the 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 fire is just starting and she's just getting ready to be burned alive the the innocent young woman that everyone thinks is a witch and, and, 400 years and, and ago tell me and tell me who you are again. Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. And Roy, what is your last name? Gerbil. G E R. Yes. How, how do you spell it? Uh, I T. I, I said G E what? Oh, G E R B I L. And and where do you live? Um, do you know where the blue house is? Uh, which, what blue house? Well, I, I don't live on your street. I'm kind of like around the corner, uh, over there on the tree. Oh, 
Okay, what what what, what is your address? Why? You, you're not, we're not doing decorations in my yard. I, I don't want decorations here because of the liability issues. Well, that's what I'm concerned about with my yard, and apparently you're telling me I have nothing to do. I have no say about this. You're just coming and putting these things in my yard. I'm very concerned. Yeah, it's for all the kids to enjoy. It's for Halloween, you know. Well, that may very well be, but uh, but like I said, it seems to me that you don't have permission to put something in my yard. Can't you put it in the commons area? But but it's all it's all in good fun, you know. It's for Halloween. It's for the I holidays. I don't care it's if like, it's all in good fun. I'm concerned have... about liability. It, if it, the kids run through my yard all the time for trick or treating, if some kid runs through the yard close to that and they have a flammable costume. Those kids are going to be a ball of fire in no time, and the liability will come down on me and my insurance. Oh, that sounds hilarious. It, it isn't hilarious. <laughs> well, I, it, it's not. No, of course, it's not hilarious to burn kids, but the way that you tell it, it is hilarious to me. I'm sorry. It isn't because I sit in my lawn chair out there at the end of my driveway when I'm here for Halloween. Oh, and I you're, the there, there's a very important thing you have to know. Don't let any kids come up to you. You need to throw that candy six feet. Are you able to throw candy six feet? And they have to catch it. If it lands on the ground, you it's, know, it's I, a foul. I, I they swear, don't get it. I swear you are. You sound like a nutcase. I just this this whole phone call is so upsetting to me. Oh, don't be and upset. I don't know who you. I don't know who you are, and I just... Okay, I just talked, I've been texting, uh, you know, Dave, McDavid, you know, the head HOA guy. He says that we're going to put a sign in your front yard that says, no flammable costumes allowed. Allowed. It's going to be a sign. It's going to fix everything. And, and and the three and four and five year old kids are going to read this. Well, uh, hopefully their parents are with them. Well, they often are not. Well, they better be. Okay. Well, we'll there put. Are, it'll just there be... are kids. There are kids running up and down the street. All right. At what... all hours of the night. What if it's just a pretend fire with red LED lights? And, and instead of real fire, we just have I, lights I, I, under there. I, I don't Red want lights. real fire in my yard okay, because fine. of the liability. We won't do real fire. Um, I'm glad you don't have a problem with uh, burning innocent uh, young women at the stake for being witches. It, it's just the fire that you... When, when, issue, when was, this, was this decided at a board meeting? Uh, yes, it was. And, and they said, we and, definitely want to have the burning witch in your yard. And and who else was who else can I talk to from the board about this? Uh, there's Sensei Doug. There's Steve Dave. There's Bob Dabalina. Who who Doug there's who? Chris Tompkinson. There's Dino Alsman. Uh, oh, definitely is... Frank D'Amato is going to be there. Uh, you know Carlito I, I, from I, Carlito's I... Cactus Carbu. He's going to be there. I don't know any of these people. Tur <laughs> you you asked. Turd Ferguson's going to be there. John Benet Ramsey's going to be there. What What do you mean they're going to be there? They're going to be where? Ma'am, it's six fifty eight p.m. right now. Dwight's going to go on the air in two minutes. Should I put my wife on? Yes. All right, honey. And who, who is honey! Dwight? H Hello. Who's this? Yeah, this is Mary Jo. I am totally is, confused is this, by this phone call. Is this one of those robocalls? Honey, did you transfer me to a robocall? She's not saying anything now. I think she's a robot. Hello? No, no. This, is, this, this gentleman called to tell me that they're putting, the association is putting a display in my yard with fire burning, and I'm very concerned in the whole... He sounds like a nutcase. Is this call for real? Oh, he's not a nutcase, ma'am. That's just my husband. Okay, but I don't see how you can put something in my yard without my permission that has fire. And I've already explained my concern about the children who run through the yard from the commons area with flammable costumes. And I just feel there's terrible liability if it's in my yard.
Well, I heard my husband said he, he was working with you, and he's going to put red lights underneath, flickering red lights, well, not real fire. But he, but again, who gives him permission to put anything in my yard? Uh, we're, the HOA, we're the HOA, so we basically just own your house, and you're just paying rent to us, so we do what we you, want. You, you what? We, 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 we consider ourselves your landlord. And you are a renter, and we can tell you what to do, and we do whatever we want on your property. That is that is absolutely not true. You oh. are the homeowners association. Oh no, we it had is a, a voluntary. We had a meeting about it. We decided, you know, we're we're uh, we've got a lot more power than you thought before. And ma'am, like you really, you should just let the fire there, because only the stupid kids are going to touch the fire. In any three-year-old knows, don't touch the fire. And I don't think two-year-olds are going to be out by themselves. You know, I had I had the daughter of a friend who literally had burns. She can never have babies. She had burns over 80% of her body from a very minor brush, a minor, minor brush with a cigarette lighter. Was that she smart? child was engulfed. No, that child was engulfed in flames in a matter of seconds. Well, now you're her bumming me was, out. Like... This is like you're making no, it sound her, like the, the Salem witch trials her, of 1632. Her mother te listen to me. Her nope. mother testified in front of Congress about flame-proof children's wear. I know this. Okay, we're gonna use we're gonna use red LED lights. You buzzkill. I I don't want you putting anything in my yard. Put it in the commons. Put it in the commons that is adjacent to we'll, my yard. We'll you have it. a huge amount of space down there. Hey. Hey, we'll, we'll put it at the edge of the street, like right on the edge of the street, like in the little, little, little area. That's, that's, that's Commons area down there. That's not no, my yard. That's we're going to put it in, in front of your house, but near the street. It's just going to be pretend I, fire. I don't, we're, want, we're have, I, I don't want anything in my yard. We're going to have fans blowing, blowing little red streamers up that look like fire. With red LED lights, I, I'm going to call. I'm going to call someone else on the board. This is just Which totally one? not. A, can Can you call I, them? I, 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 let's call them on three way, together. What's their number? Again, I, I, I don't know you. I don't recognize the person. I don't have. Okay. Don't even know who oh, you. Wait, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, it is Dwight time though, so it is time to go. And we have decided not to put Halloween decorations in your yard. I'm going to tell my husband Thank no. I'm going to. I'm, just, I'm going to be like no. You do not. Thank put, you. I'm going to put them. We're going to put them in your next door neighbor's yard. I'm going to tell her that you said you prefer it over there. Well, you don't tell her anything or him. I just. I. I'm very. Well, someone's got to take what the fall. you're telling me. What you're telling me. You didn't ask me, and you're calling me and telling me all of these things. On a, on a Saturday night, I just, this whole thing is so irregular. I'm not sure if I'm being scammed here or what. I don't even know if this That's call is legitimate, up. but it's, it's very tall. upsetting to me. Oh, don't be upset. No, we've decided to move all the stuff to the next door neighbor's yard. So everything's perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Everything's great. But, uh, we, crazy. we are, we are going to have to uh, mark on your HOA record. We're going to give you a mark that says you were very disagreeable about the fire in your yard. But, I mean, that's not a big deal. That's fine. I, I, I have to go. Okay. I do, too. We've got a lot of people to call. All right. Uh, Dwight's on. Uh, he went on the air. Anyone want to listen to Dwight? Where's where's the thing? I am coming right now. No, oh, he's just playing old pranks. We can do one more, right? One last prank. Let's call, we're gonna call Rosie. Come to your mother. Come in front of your mother. I fucker. I think this is a recording. You have mother? Your friend or your who is it? Your coworker? My uh, it's my brother-in-law. Your brother-in-law. What room is he in? Hello. Hey, Gene. Yeah. What? Who's this? Oh, is this Jane? This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. You call me? Yes? Yeah. I was just calling about your lights. You know, you got those two lights out there, the porch lights. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. you, you've got different uh, wattages in each one. 
Can can you please uh, oh. maybe even those out? Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like uh, on the left, you've got a sixty watt, and on the right, you've got a hundred watt, and it makes the whole street look like we're just a bunch of dumb hobos. Oh, because you don't have your your shit together with the porch lights. That's not very nice to say. Yeah, well, I know a bit. That mistake. <laughs> What's that? I'm a single mom. That's not very nice to say. Well, that's no excuse. I'm a realtor. I'm a like, realtor, and I I make my night my house look nice, and it was just a mistake. Yeah, but you know, like I'm not trying si- to make it look like hobos. I mean, I don't. I mow my lawn. I mean, everyone else does. A lot of other people don't. Me, I'm six. You're calling me at six, ten o'clock six, at night. Six, Sixty watt bulbs are for lamps. They're they're not for okay, porch I'm lights. I'm a single mom. I'm well, a single mom. You're calling me at ten o'clock at night on a Saturday night. No, this? no excuse. You just oh like, my god. Like just put another hundred watt in I the know, but left really, side. Why are you calling me? Cause, why are you calling me at Ten o'clock at night. Well, on I'm, a Saturday. I'm, I'm just doing the rounds. I'm calling up a lot of neighbors tonight oh, and just okay, letting them no know problem. about infractions. You. But you know, this you is really annoying. Fix those porch lights, ma'am. I ma'am. was sleeping. I was sleeping. What? What were you? What were you me some, some, some crazy <laughs> I could not get it out. Stuff. Dang it! <sighs> ah, are we still? Brother-in-law, man, man, still Call listening me. to Carlito. All right, you guys. I'm I'm happier with that ending than uh, the, the the lady that was very upset about the fire in her front yard. Uh, that lady I just talked to, um, I can see her. She's checking her mail. She's at her mailbox, and she is staring at the Google Street View car very curiously. And uh, she sounds exactly how I would imagine her to sound. Just just so you know, she's not. <laughs> She's going to have dreams about her porch lights now. Uh, thanks, F in Reality, for um, telling me that you, you, like, like you're like you going to do something to me if I don't do another show. I, he's the one that suggested that I do a show, but I kind of wanted to anyway. So thanks. Thanks for uh, motivating me, F in Reality. And thanks, everybody, for listening. And uh, Dwight's on the air. Dwight does a show every single Saturday night. Um, right now he's playing an old prank, but any minute now he's going to be starting again. Now the phone's ringing. Is he playing another old prank? Good evening, bitches. There he goes. Go listen to Dwight. He's on YouTube, uh, Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation or YouTube.com slash Dwight the Janitor. He's on the air. Oh, this is going to be fucked. He's having audio issues. Come and listen with the rest of us. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening tonight. There it is. Hey, Brad. Hey. I was listening to the most recent episode of the Snowplow Show, and I realized you're playing the whole one of pranks. Um, I think mm-hmm. all of us fans would prefer less shows and shorter shows. Old so pranks. So you stop playing old pranks. Why not? And have less shows and shorter shows. Okay. That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, all right. I think maybe two shows a month, uh, about 15 to 20 minute shows, would be preferred because. The less I have to listen to you, the better. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Two Catch shows a month, everybody. All thanks to this guy. That's all I'm doing ever again. Two shows a month. I'm going to do a half hour tops each each month. Hey, Brad. In the last show, you talked about uh, playing taps, you know, using a dog whistle so that your only cats and dogs could hear it. But, yeah, uh, that, that was a lie, by the way. Fortunately, I think you probably sampled the show at 44.1 kilohertz and uh crud. whistles are between according to google uh 23 and 54 kilohertz so the Nyquist shannon frequency needs to be at least double which is the frequency needed to record at all right look i ain't no nerd like you i don't know this stuff in order to replicate the signal and i was lying um so basically you need to re-record either that part of the show or re-upload wasn't it. really doing it at least at 46 kilohertz okay you know at best 108 kilohertz but then i downsample it because i don't want my files to be huge but that's good information to have i was actually curious about that but not curious enough to actually look up that information myself so thank you for enabling me to continue being lazy i mean i probably wouldn't have done anything with it but wouldn't that be funny to just uh play random dog whistle sounds throughout your show just to fuck with listeners dogs what a great idea that would be i should I should do that. Hey, Brad, it's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois, and I've been really enjoying the shows recently. Even the voicemails, I know some people don't like them, but I do. Thanks. As much a part of the show as the pranks. And and really, the callers 
it's like a cast of characters. It's like a, a part of the, the big PLA family. Yeah, they are. Speaking of family. You know, Nick Caesar was talking about all this yesterday. The live stream from yesterday. He was talking about the PLA voicemails, and a lot of them are kind of cringy, but it's a fun part of the show. It's like all these weird people saying weird shit to us all. And voicemails. We haven't heard from your Uncle Scott in quite some time. Yeah. I hope he's okay. You know, I know that he can be flaky sometimes. I kind of thought that that was him on the last he said episode. He comes to visit and doesn't show up. That's just kind of his way, but I just want you to know, Brad, that your Uncle Scott loved you very much, but he's very proud of your radio program. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he always loved you. Yep. All right, Brad. Make it choices. Sure Bye. Did. Rest in peace, Uncle Scott. Pretty sure Uncle Scott's dead, everybody. But it's okay, you know, that hard living, it catches up to you. Hey, Brad. My name is Admiral Akbar 27 Hey. And I just, this is my first time calling. Okay. Love the show. You're awesome. Found Thanks. you earlier this year. Wish I would have found you last year, but oh well. Why um, not the year before? You don't think you would have liked me the year before last year? What are you trying to say? What I wanted to say was, I... I wonder, have you ever thought about the fact that you are inspiring the next generation to continue the tradition of prank calls? Because no. me and my kids listen to you me? every day. I don't know. And they want nothing more than to prank call people, whether that be their family <laughs> or me or you or something. To, but, just uh, explain to them that prank calls are dead. They don't work anymore. Nobody picks up their phone, you stupid kids. Um, yeah. Just something to think about because Sorry. you know we always hear about. I mean to call your kids stupid. Calls are going away. Just kidding. But I don't think so. I think you're a big part of that. Oh. And I just want to say thank you. Keep thank up you. the good work. You're awesome. See you, man. Bye. I don't know if I can take sole credit for that. There's a lot of us out there doing prank calls. And they've all been doing it for years too. Like Dwight, he's been doing his show forever. And I think Carlito had the longest running show of anybody, didn't he? But that's pretty awesome that I'm making your kids want to do prank calls. That's a very wholesome parent-kid activity. Because, you know, when they start making bomb threats and stuff, you can guide them in the right direction, and explain to them the bomb threats are bad, and turn them into responsible prank callers, right? Hey, Brad, it's Phil North, the doctor, coming from Boston. Hey, hey, I really appreciate your show and everything you do. Thank you. Hey, my question is, are you going to collab with Stacy and do another uh, Terrible Tenant episode? No. That shit was hilarious. Hey, yeah, also, how's uh, Dave the Flaming Darts idiot? He's still riding his stupid moped. That shit was funny, bro. I hope so. Later, Roy. Go Socks. Cactus, cactus. I'm sure Stacy will come around again someday. Just be happy. I did a show with her, like, several years ago. Joy to the world. <laughs> the Lord has come. That's great. Thanks for that one. Hey, Roy. It's your Uncle Scott. I was just calling to let you know I was on the Google Street View of Roy, New Mexico, and I mm -hmm. can see a picture of you at the church. Have a good day. Okay. You know, Uncle Scott's probably dead, everybody. And you're all just pretending to be Uncle Scott, getting my hopes up, making me think he's going to walk through that door again someday, and it's just not going to happen. Hello, Roy. It's Beverly hey. in my double wide. Oh, hey, Beverly. You thought I'd forget about you. Now somebody is pretending to be user. Beverly. I've seen what you've been doing. What the hell is this? Singing about me. Mm -hmm. First of all, yes, I am a widow. And no, I didn't kill him. He commits suicide. Okay. Six shotgun blasts to the back of the head. Wow. Okay, that's depressing. Some losers better watch it. Jeez. It's your friend Beverly's like favorite I'm getting time of year. Threatened here. <laughs> All right. Bye, Beverly. That was disturbing. I didn't like it. Hello, Bradley. Hey. So I was just wondering, uh, how do I start uh, my own little uh, prank calling if I was to do so? I'm wondering what programs Pick you might up the use phone. what different Dial uh, some people. ways you might get your lists. I'm not really sure if people just send them to you and that's the only way you get yeah, them. Yeah, people just kind of send them to me, which is really nice and makes things a lot easier on me. Thank you, everybody, for sending me numbers. But I don't know, like go to uh, next door. Like lots of people post their numbers on next door because, you know, they're always advertised in their services. Look on uh, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, search for a swap shop or a tradio list on the radio. There's lots of those or search for every 7-Eleven in the entire country. Call up every 7-Eleven. I don't know. And I'm not quite sure what software you would use. I know a lot of people used to use Skype back in the day, but I yeah. feel like that's pretty outdated. And but it works. It dials phone numbers. It's pretty cheap. 
use Skype. There's nothing wrong with Skype. And if you want to know what I use, go to uh, phonelosers.com slash FAQ. I think that's where you can see a bunch of videos of specifically what I use and has studio tours and stuff the like that. getting list thing, I'm not really sure how that would work. I already told like you. Possibly people are just sending you them. Yeah. But either way. Mostly. Uh, thanks for all the fucking laughs and shit. You're and, welcome. Uh, yeah. Oh, and also, you need to follow the rules of prank calling. It's very important. Don't prank locally. You have to go to phonelosers.com slash rules. And that will tell you how to hopefully not get arrested. That's an important part of prank calling. Oh, hey, oh, I, I was checking out the Chinese, Chinese Zodiac sign. Mm-hmm. And I think- See, this is the knobby guy that we all know and love. The one that we can't understand. Not the off-putting one with perfect audio quality. My Chinese Zodiac scary. sign is the dragon. My dad is the pig. Yep. My mom is the rooster. And I think my brother is the goat. And I think, I think uh, yourself, I, I would say you're a, I think you're a rat. If I've got your, if I've got your buff here, right? I think, I think I'm think, a rat? Yeah, I think, each thing, I think it's called a water rat. I'm a I'm water a, rat. I'm an earth. Dragon. So, uh, what the uh, fuck uh, are you doing, Nobby guy? What is this? Zodiac sign. So, I want to hear some more flush the toilet prank calls. Come on, Brad, you can do more. Do some flush the toilet. Okay, thanks, Bye. thanks, Nobby guy, for your minute-long voicemail telling me to do more toilet pranks. Uh, there's more voicemails in here, but I'm not going to play them because I'm going to end the show right now. Uh, like I said, there is another show coming. Like, it's been recorded already. In fact, you can go listen to it already if you want. You don't have to wait till tomorrow or Wednesday or whenever I post it. Just go to twitch.com slash phone losers and there it is. Hopefully, I don't think it's been taken down yet. I know they muted part of it because I used copyrighted music. But another Snowplow show will be coming out in a day or two. And, of course, a hobo so this week. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show. Denmark is a real country. Synthhead, Mr. John, Christine with an exclamation point, and Fun Society Arcade. They all support us over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers, which is what every single person listening right now should be doing. Go over to Patreon, sign up, be a supporter, so I can be stuck doing prank calls for the rest of my life. Dead and no more will sprout